all right th- this is okay as long as i'm not clipping and as long as your sound uh uh sounds good well that's what matters okay. so this is our wave and it sounds great it looks great right yeah so uh, let's go back to fo studio and um so finally guys this is how the beat sounds like <laughs> Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today we are gonna make a beat in FL Studio. I don't know what kind of beat I can make, but I'm gonna try to make an Afro beat. So let's just try to use what we have right now. The metronomy. Four steps. Fruity Loops keys. Those. So let's go ahead and just try to make something. Ding, ding, ding. We are not gonna use a uh, MIDI keyboard because a lot of you guys uh, use this uh, plotting. So we are gonna plot everything. Take it to pattern number two and just um, open this, best. I'm just gonna duplicate this, uh, make it into, let's see if we can increase the tempo. Let's go ahead and save our project as um, anything, all right? So we're just gonna name it uh, anything, anything, anything or anything or anything or anything or anything, anything like that. Yeah. All right. Let's put in an African saxophone.
guys this is where we are now let me show you what i have used so far due to time so i have this uh simple uh drumming that's what we have made so far and uh just a little bit of some loops then we have this used hit up hit up two digits that's what i used then we have nexus mute guitar then we have a uh, hit up once again then we have um uh, i've actually um turned off dvs saxophone maybe i can put it uh during uh the instrumentation and you guys will be able to like listen to it during that video and uh we have this other play uh, just that sample of course and we have this yeah, then we have these. Yeah. I've just I've actually just played this in, so just there. I feel like it can be on the intro part and on the last part. And just like that. Now, there is something that I want to show you, uh, the plugins that I have added uh for mastering so let's go ahead and open up our mixer and i usually put my plugins at the end of uh the output channel so your output channel has these plugins and these are the only plugins that i've used for uh mastering one two three four and five the first one being multi-band compressor from uh fl studio and these are my settings yeah so simple just uh uh taking the threshold to negative 18 db raised up some highs uh low band mids you know just raise them up whenever you want the mids to be like uh heard a little bit you can raise up the mid the low if you want more bass 
this is the work if you want more highs open up your instrument or, or your beat come to the highs use the threshold and then the gain, gain uh, knob but in this case i've reduced the gain just a little bit yeah then maximizer maximus this is maximizer for fo studio just raised up a little bit of uh some gain just to make it sound nice and uh we have also fruity compressor just a compressor compressing some of those transients and some of those uh peaks which are trying to get out my ratio is uh seven three uh seven two uh, one and threshold is negative 10.3 db not much happening there and then i am pusher from waves uh just to make sure that the lows the body is there the low the highs the imager is there just to spread it up a little bit so uh this is this is this is why i have i have used uh infected mushroom and then the final one is just a ceiling uh, limiter. I usually love my limiters to be at the end of, ev or, of the chain. So we have limiter and the ceiling just a little bit to just like uh, set up the levels. And um, this is how the song, the, the, the beat, I mean, sounds like without all this. I'm going to start it from here. It sounds like this. I'm gonna be turning on all these one by one. So without all these. Carbet. 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 Yeah, beautiful, right? beautiful so uh that's uh what i have done the mastering part and uh i want to show you something let's go ahead and check out how the wave for this beat is looking like if it's beautiful or not beautiful so what we're gonna do is just uh export take it to the desktop and then hit save so we want to make sure that our mastering look our mastering uh wave looks appetizing looks good so in order to do that uh that's the reason why i have used all these plugins to just make the wave look nice so let's go ahead and uh if you wanna if you wanna like check out your wave how your wave is looking like i advise that you use adobe audition adobe audition is just gonna show you exactly what's happening to your wave so i'm gonna just drag my mp3 uh, file and <laughs> here we are it looks great yeah it looks good and let me check out how the volume is uh looking like all right th this is okay as long as i'm not clipping and as long as your sound uh uh sounds good well that's what matters so this is our wave and it sounds great it looks great right yeah so uh let's go back to fl studio and um so finally guys this is how the beat sounds like <laughs>